Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the 22-23 Champions League jersey review. Yes, you have chosen the next jersey review that I should do is the Champions League jersey review. And I think I have not done one last season due to time constraints and this time it's also a little bit delayed thanks to the World Cup and then a little bit of a sickness of mine and we have it delayed. However, I usually have done it in eight parts, you know, one for each group, but I have decided, you know, I do a lot of double duty there and most of the teams in the Champions League, I've already talked about their jerseys. So what I'm going to do is I actually want to do it also within four videos and I group two groups always together, A, B, C, D, uh, E, F and G, H. And then I will just not really skip. I will show you the jerseys of the teams that I've already, or the jerseys that I've already talked about. But I will just mention the grade and refer you to the original video for the league-specific review because I've already done uh, reviews for six whole leagues. But then I will talk about all the other jerseys that have that we have not seen yet or that have been dedicated European jerseys for that particular team. If it's a team that we have not been talking about because they're not one of the six leagues we have done uh, reviews, which uh, is, of course, uh, England, uh, Spain, Germany, Italy, France and Austria, then we look at the entire set that has been released and I point out some differences for Europe as well. But other than that, I'm just going to go group by group and basically team by team uh, in an alphabetical order as well. And so, in this particular video, we are looking at Bayern, Barcelona, we have Inter, we have Victoria Pilsen, we have Eintracht Frankfurt, who I'm wearing in this, for this video, we have Tottenham, we have Sporting, and we have Marseille, and we have actually quite a few teams that we have rated, or there's only two teams where have, we have not covered, which of course are Pilsen and Sporting. However, there are a few other uh, shirts that we can look at, but this video could actually go quite fast. And we'll start in Group C and the first team will be Barcelona. The home jersey we have already looked at in the La Liga jersey review, linked above and we gave the home jersey a 7. It's a brilliant away jersey, especially in the Weipanit uh, with 9 stars. Then we have a third jersey uh, in grey with the cross in 6 stars. And we have a new fourth jersey, which I'm not sure will be worn, uh, for sure not in the Champions League, but maybe in the Europa League it will, if Barca should advance. Uh, it has been only worn in league uh, play. It's the third iteration of the Seniera jersey. The first one was kind of like an alternate to a classic stripe Barcelona jersey, which was nice. I really loved the one that has been used previously for four seasons. That's probably the one Barca jersey where I think I should get this one, where you had the, you know, the paint stroke or kind of the bloody fingers making the flag. This look really nice. This one here looks also a little bit too stark in contrast. It's too rigid. Yes centralized crest actually looks not too bad and then you have the swooshes on the um, 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 sleeves which I think is an interesting touch for sure it kind of opens it up but also you know like the US jersey has always the chance is, does this a little bit look like a fake jersey but I think this one just avoids this one and then we have of course the big flag pattern on there if you would ask me, I mean, I know that the proper flag is just the four red stripes on the yellow, but there's also kind of the Republican flag where you have a blue triangle with a white star. I think if you put a blue triangle and instead of the white star, the Barca crest is, could look uh, better. It's not a bad jersey, but there is something. It looks a little bit like a grill. And then the sleeve cuffs almost look a little bit too funny and the template doesn't do it really uh, any favor as well with the beep here, which I still hate. But I would say it's not a bad jersey overall. Um, it does some interesting things. I'm going to give it the same grade as the third jersey with a 6. Moving over, you can see the full review in the Bundesliga jersey review, although there's also a jersey that we look at. We have the home jersey for Bayern, uh, which I rated with its weird pattern with a 5 star. Then the away jersey in white and gold, I gave a 6 star uh, rating. And the third jersey, that kind of, it looks black and red here, but I think it's almost like a brownish, also a 6 star. 
And then we have, and this will not be worn in the Champions League, and most likely it was worn only in the Cup, we have the Olympia Stadion away jersey, which I did not review. We reviewed the Oktoberfest jersey in the Bundesliga jersey review. Uh, and as much as I like the Olympia Stadion, it's a really, really unique stadium with the famous roof. Yes, it's not great for watching soccer games. I've been there many times. The atmosphere was never all the other great, especially when you watch a concert and you sit on the main stand, it reflects over. But just from the pure architect architectural uh, view, it is just special. I also think that and it is very underappreciated that the um, overall um, look and feel of the 72 Olympics still holds up to this day, especially the logos for the sports uh, are just very, very special and unique and I think are the best ones that have ever been there. And the colors of these games are reflected in this jersey. However, it makes it a little bit of a mess. And the T-Mobile logo, while I understand it looks a little bit off than the Bayern Crescent, it, it's, it's all a little bit too centered. And I find I should have used more the architecture of the Olympic Stadium than going with these weird colors and maybe make it a little bit more of a Bayern jersey and not just a celebration of the Olympics. But that's kind of my view on it. You may have a different one, but it leaves me a little bit wanting, although I don't think it's overall a bad jersey. It's just not a Bayern jersey. I'm still gonna go six on this one. Uh, I think for a collect, if you're a Bayern collector, this is definitely one that you would like to have in your collection. Uh, we move over to Inter, which you saw in the Serie A jersey. The home, home jersey is, I think, a little bit of a sleeper, is eight stars. The away jersey was not my cup of tea, although it's very celebrated. It's a six star jersey for me, but I really like the uh, third jersey, the yellow one with seven stars. That is all for Inter and we can move on to Victoria Pilsen, another Macron team. And boy, oh boy, did Macron go all out here. I had to look at this jersey in play multiple times to figure out what's going on here. And when I look at it this way, it just, it does not make any sense. Either, either make the gradient and then have a half, half look or go with the crazy stripes, but don't have the gradient on the bottom. The way that the red goes from the uh, proper right side and over to the left, it's just weird. It's just really weird. I also would argue either make the right sleeve also red or make the left sleeve uh, red don't have both in blue I think it also it, it's kind of a little bit lost but it's over way too wild for my taste sorry I know the crest for Victoria Pilsen is already a little bit wild and maybe it's a little bit playing off that it's just not a great shirt uh, sorry two stars for that one um, the away jersey though is a whole lot better I a little bit regret the monochromatic crest but I really like the navy blue and then the off center stripe that looks quite nice I have to have to say and even that the uh, off center stripe is not solid but kind of so painted has a little bit of a fractured pattern on there makes it also quite a look overall do like that one I'm gonna give this a seven star and then the third jersey needed to be a bright one but Mm, yeah, I think this tries to riff off some Nike template a little bit too much. It looks what it pro probably is a template jersey in very black colors. And then we will throw on some full colored crest and sponsor. It doesn't endear itself to me. Unfortunately, only three stars. Yeah, Victoria Pilsen. I'm sorry, I gotta be. The, your set this time around was not the best. Moving over to Group D, to the team that I'm wearing in Frankfurt. Yes, we've talked about Frankfurt the Bundesliga jersey review. However, in Europe, they do things a little bit differently. And we have a European home jersey in black, which is a much better black jersey than the one that they're using in the league. Uh, what I find interesting is that in the league, they use this version of the crest. Um, now it's basically the eagle is white and it's basically a false color. It looks a little bit like a negative, but actually I'm coming around. This looks really, really nice. And then the pattern that's in there gives the whole shirt some structure. Yes, it is a template shirt. Yes, it is not very exciting. Yes, the one from last season where they had a nice color and the red is still the one that I want to have. 
but it would be a close second for if I want to get a black Frankfurt jersey uh, because let's face it this is more of a red one that I have here although the uh, uh, back is all black I gotta say I'm coming around to this one and you know uh, seeing Frankfurt win makes it also a little bit better it's still I cannot look much past that this is just a template but I think that the crest does something special and it's just black and white uh, will always like that so I'm gonna give this a six they have used the red jersey which color wise is probably the most interesting church churches then they have it's just the way that the black come comes in is a little bit too weird we saw that I also gave the six and then the home jersey while classic and I think as a kid it looks much better than here but it's just too boring that's why only a five star look Moving on to OM Marseille, you get a league uh, jersey review. OM, the home jersey. I understand why they're choosing the darker blue colors. I like the lighter blue better. This is a six. The uh, way is a seven. But I actually like the third one best. It was an eight star jersey. And we are at Sporting now. Sporting did something that I beg it a little bit believe. They took last season's jerseys jersey and inverted the colors it is literally the same jersey it's just that white and green are inverted which i find so odd i do think though that this one looks better than the uh, previous one it's still i think under macron sporting looked a whole lot better cannot go more than six here uh actually i enjoy the away jersey although it's again another template but i actually like the colors uh, and Sporting have been using this, the black and then this luminescent yellow. There is something about it that makes it quite sport, sporting looking for me. Uh, that's one that I've kind of a little bit earmarked. Yeah, if I see this for cheap somewhere, I actually could imagine getting get, get it. Because definitely the look and would make it nice, would make itself nice on the background here. I would say I go with eight here. Um, then they have an away jersey in kind of the Croatia um, look, away look from 2020. Club's colors, I understand that. Uh, but again, it's very templatey. I'm, yeah, well, at least the green is saving it. So I'm gonna go six here, like for the home home jersey, but it's nothing special. And then even the Strump jersey could look better. I think the um, collar is, tall, is totally off. This should be a traditional look and it's kind of a modern look. I like the half and half look in, in a way, but this one is just not quite cut, cutting it if you were to ask me. Uh, but it's better than a home jersey. So let's go seven with Sporting and we'll end the video with Spurs again looking for the Premier League jersey review the home jersey I didn't like the accent colors it's a four star the away jersey is one of the ugliest jerseys ever released and especially this season a one star and a three star for the third jersey which I don't know what this should be that ends the video please let me know which jerseys you liked in here where you agree and disagree with me give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will surely talk to you soon with the next part. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so to get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!